All right, in this video, we're kind of just throwing this together real quick. We're out here doing some wheeling in Sand Hollow. And on the way out, we decided to hit the chute on Double Sammy Trail. So in this video, we're gonna show you the chute, an obstacle on Double Sammy Trail with several different rigs so you can get an idea of how difficult it is. We have an FJ that's gonna run it, Nissan Xterra, Tacoma, Jeep, uh, 4Runner. So let's go check them out. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. It's nasty out here, so the sound, hopefully it's all right. But we've got a FJ going up. He has an Atlas transfer case, locked front and back on 35s. So let's see how this goes. Look at that no issues whatsoever so uh and i did forget to mention he also has a total chaos long travel suspension on there if you frequent this channel then you are no doubt familiar with the little black toyota this 2004 runner build is on 35s it has donahue suspension which is the predecessor to icon it has a marlin crawler gearbox and it's locked front and back so there's a running joke in the Rogue Overland crew that we always edit Little Black out of some of the videos. Well, it happened for real this time. So in the haste to kind of make this video on the fly, uh, we hadn't planned to make it ahead of time, I forgot to hit record when Little Black was going up the climb. So here's some footage of it making it up the climb on a previous trip we took when we did our trail review video of Double Sammy. All right, here we go. Second gen Tacoma, running a flip pack overland style, baby. Uh, locked front and back, and I believe he's on 33s. There you go. A little too much weight towards the rear. Couldn't quite get the traction to come up over that first ledge and uh, going around. All right, up next we have another second gen Tacoma. He's on 35s, but only has a rear locker. So let's see how this goes. Yep. Right there. Same spot. Same spot. Come on, come on. Uh, so close, man. Now straight. There you go. So it seems like what we're seeing here is the longer wheelbases. Uh, it's just kind of kind of tough to get over that first hey, little that on, first right little there. ledge. All 
All right, so we finally found the line where with the shorter wheelbases, we could be a little you know further what? passenger. Longer wheelbase had to be a little more to the driver's side. All right, next up, we have a Jeep Rubicon. He's on 37s, uh, typical Rubicon stuff, lockers front and back. Uh, low range is pretty low. And then he also has a turbocharger on the engine. So, you know, like stuff like this, when in doubt, throttle out. He's gonna be ready. Just kidding. problems whatsoever okay so last up we have the 2001 nissan xterra solid axle swapped on 35s locked front and back crawler gears in the transfer case all right next up we got a 2000 i mean who cares it's an xterra but it's it's yellow and it's got some axles underneath it it's got a three point slow something in it, some transfer case stuff, it rattles when you're going down the road. I mean, it barely will do 60 on the interstate, but anyway, he's gonna try to climb up here now. So I don't have a lot of hope, but we'll see what happens. Uh, a little bit to the, go a little bit left here. It says tire will run it over. Yeah, a little more, a little more. There we go, that's good. As you can see, he barely made it up. There was like six strong dudes at the bottom pushing. That's the only reason he made it over the first part. And I think he burned a half a quart of oil coming up too. So it made it up, good luck. All right, so there it is. As you can see, we were able to get all the vehicles, but the one Tacoma up the obstacle, and that was the Tacoma with the most weight in the rear, back towards that rear axle and behind that rear axle. So that probably played, played a role in that. Uh, longer wheelbases. We had to go a little more to the driver's side. The rest of them were able to basically just cruise straight up. Uh, so this obstacle is not as bad as you see uh, in the videos. You watch the videos, you think, oh man, it's straight up, it's crazy. Uh, it's a difficult obstacle, but catch that right line and um, you just cruise right up it. There's traction for days. So this was just a quick video, not our typical production quality level, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Throw a comment below. Let us know if you've run this uh, obstacle before. And the best way to support the channel is to buy something through the Amazon links in the description below or um, buy something on our website store, Rogue Overland backslash shop. We have hats, patches, molly bags, buffs, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And that just helps us produce more great content for you. So get out there and we'll see you on the trail. What'd you do, bust your lip? Mike, you okay? <laughs> this, is, this is a beautiful view here, ain't it? I mean, just majestic. <laughs> <It's> awesome. <laughs>